What's up guys, Kaiju here again with another video and in, in this video I'll be reviewing the Rog Cares Wireless. So just for transparency's sake, this was sent out to me by Asus Philippines, you know, Asus ROG Philippines. Big thanks, you know, it's just such a, you know, it's really nice being a small YouTuber and, you know, tech reviewer. They sent me this premium mouse for review. So... Uh, yeah, I already made made my Tagalog video about it, so uh, which I spoke English in as well. So I'm sure I've that, that was a more detailed video. I'm going to be a bit more quick here. I won't go over every detail uh, in a detailed way, but yeah, I'll give you my thoughts. So this is 79 grams. Uh, I still consider it a bit lightweight. Because, you know, my, like, 80 actually still feels lightweight, like the vaccine mice and everything. Like, I think 83 to 85 above is what I call, I would consider mid to, like, a bit heavier already. So, it, it's a lightweight, in my opinion. It still feels lightweight, even though it's 7 grams. Like, uh, th this Fantech XD3 V2 is 83 grams, and it feels a bit heavy already. But, you know, even though it's just, uh, these are a bit just a bit lighter they still they still feel pretty light i don't know why but yeah so that's the weight and uh the coating the coating uh you can see it's different for here it's a kind of a matte rubbery uh feeling and here a bit they're like pbt plastics okay so um it, it's a it's the coating is really nice. I find them really grippy. I don't think they need grip tapes. This grip tape I'll explain later. Um, yeah, it's not that much of a fingerprint magnet compared to to the Vaxi, but yeah, it's actually not that much of a fingerprint magnet. But you still gotta wipe it a bit because it's a bit rubbery. And then here are the clicks, my favorite clicks ever so far. It used to be these, but and now it's these. Nice, crisp, tactile. Not, uh, they're not overly like, they're not overly high pitch or clicky like the Kales. I still like the Kales, you know. These are some still some nice ass clicks, but I really like these. Uh, they're a bit, they're like Kale 8.0s but tone them down a bit in terms of clack and click make them a bit you know softer to the ear and a bit yeah softer to the ear and that's what you get favorite click so far they've dethroned the vaxi and teaser one as clicks which have been my favorite for the longest um yeah so the clicks of the, the switches um <laughs> the switches of these are uh, sp uh, specialized, you know, 70 million ROG micro switches. So I don't know what those are. I think they feel, again, they feel like Kales that ROG fine tuned. I really like them. I wish I could buy like aftermark. Uh, I could buy spares or extras of them, put them in my other mice. And yeah, actually, this is one of the main features of this mouse like the hot swappable switches. So I'll, I'll get to that a bit later. Um, so the mouse feet again, the mouse feet are my number one stock feet ever. These are as premium and as good as aftermarket skates. Like they feel like Tiger Arc in between Tiger Arc ones a bit, you know, a touch, you know, 5% faster, I think, or I don't know. It's just they feel like Tiger Arc ones after breaking in, breaking in. Like at first they felt a bit in the middle of Tiger Arc ones and Tiger Eyes, but now they feel a bit more like um, they feel a bit more like Tiger Tiger Arc ones, and it's weird because these feel a bit more solid and thinner than Tiger Arc ones, but you can feel the feedback of the mouse fat, like the texture of the mouse pad even more. Um, so yeah, actually the mouse seat 
or one of the reasons why I keep using this mouse, even though the shape is giving me trouble. I actually kept this mouse twice already, and I just kept kept on getting it back because I just really like the mouse itself. I like how it feels, you know, the coding, the clicks, the mouse feet, and everything. Uh, oh yeah. Side buttons, I forgot. These are some nice clicky side buttons. They dethroned my favorite Orochi V2 side buttons. I re these are like some nice side buttons. Side buttons actually feel a bit harder to, to press than the, the the main buttons. They feel also louder and clickier. So yeah, this uses a 16K optical ROG fine tune sensor. I don't know what that means. People say it's a 3335, but you know, it says on the box it's a 16K optical sensor, so that's what I'm gonna say. So I don't know. So it has three modes the 2.4 gigahertz, the wired, and the Bluetooth mode. So here you have the DPI button and the pairing. So you press this if you wanna go Bluetooth. So, uh, and then the wired mode, the cable, like wow. <laughs> For a wireless usually wireless mouse cables charging cables suck but the this is the go in my opinion the goaded the goat wireless uh, charging cable this is almost as good as a paracord this is better than most stock cables of wired mice like this is just so good i'm using it right now on my keyboard uh because you know of it feels like a paracord see like it's barely moving it's really good so even if you like even if you don't have a bungee i'm not putting this on a bungee right now and you, and you want to play this charged or wired for some reason like you can barely feel it it's almost as good as a paracord like mind-blowing uh yeah what else yeah i haven't had any sensor issues or like spin outs or tracking issues i haven't had any latency issues with the clicks everything it's a pretty damn solid mouse so the side buttons, the way you remove them is, uh, is you press the front one, and then you see the triangle. That's where you kind of uh, use your nails to get it out. And then here, you know, just go inside and scoop it out. So it's magnetized. And then you can remove the top shell. I'm not going to do it anymore. Like I made it in my other video if you guys want to see that. So uh, you don't need to remove the side buttons if you want to remove the top shell, but I don't know. For some reason, I don't know, placebo or whatever, it, it feels easier if you remove them. Here, uh, Asus sends you out like a, you know, a couple of different, um, uh, what's this? Side buttons. So you got the gray ones and the red ones. These are actually pink. For me, they're like pink red. They're not like, like red, red, like the Asus logo they feel like they look like pick so just pick whichever you want i'm gonna stick to the, to the black ones they just feel more sleek so yeah when you're going to attach the uh the side buttons again put the front one first because you know um the front one has some kind of extra plastic for anchorage so put the front one first and then put the back one when you're gonna remove it you remove the back one first and then but if you're gonna put it back you put the front one first okay and then do like uh here uh out of the box you're gonna see that there are some some of these things here you so you remove them they're just some rubbers to cover the screws just unscrew them with any screwdriver and then re remove the top shell it's a bit hard to remove the top shell at first but you know just be careful Again, I have made it my other video. I don't want to make this video long. So yeah, so after you unscrew both, you don't need to remove the mouse feet. Just unscrew these both. You kind of just try to, you know, pull it up a bit. Uh, but don't be too forceful and too fast because there are some two anchorage points here in the below the M1, M2. So if you go like that right away, it's going to snap. So just be gentle until you kind of remove it up a bit and then slide it out. And then Asus also sent out some free 
Japanese armor. I think these are Japanese armors, the expensive ones. You know, uh, you know, if ever you got no switches, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, the cringe. Sorry, guys. If ever you got no switches, like you, you can put these. Like that's actually such a good, um, an amazing uh, feature because you don't gotta buy soldering equipment. You don't gotta solder. Uh, you can just buy whatever mouse uh, mouse switches you want, and if you want to test them, just put it on this on this mouse. If you like, have a preference of a switch, you, you it's just you legit. There's no, there's no with this. There isn't even a click or a lock. You you, you really just remove them. I don't know the specific technology, but it looks like there are some like some metal uh, things that keep the the pins in place so you just legit just remove them and put them there there's no clicking you don't need any special equipment uh, i you, you can use your fingers and unless, unless you got super fat fingers it's not gonna fit yeah and there's no issues uh they don't come off or anything really good and that's really such a money saver and you know uh convenience saver you got a pair of extra you get an extra set of the, their amazing mouse feet. I really love their mouse feet. Okay, so I think I've covered the 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 basics, the physicalities of it. The RG, ah, this mouse is off. Like this is what it looks like with the RGB, but my camera is bad, so why bother? Anyways, yeah, this is what it looks like with the RGB. It actually looks pretty sick. Like aesthetically, I really like how this mouse looks and how this mouse feels. Like the only thing that's holding it back from being my main is uh is the shape. Wait, let me drink some water. My my throat's getting dry. Okay, so I'm back. So I think I've covered like the physicalities, the features, and everything of the mouse. Now to go to my thoughts and the shape. So this mouse um retails for around four thousand something pesos, so that's like eighty something dollars. Yeah, so do I think the price is worth it? I really think it is. Like, I'm actually surprised why this mouse isn't talked about that much because it's a really banger mouse. Like, you got an amazing, you got an amazing cable. Like, it's an amazing cable, especially for a wireless mouse. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but yeah, you got amazing clicks. You get free Japanese omrons, which I think are expensive. I'm not sure how much they are, but yeah, or I'm not sure if those are Japanese omrons, but they look like the expensive omrons. Like I just made a quick Google search. You got some nice clicks here. It's a really premium feeling mouse. Aftermarket skate level stock skate, so you don't gotta buy. You know, I I think there. To be honest, I don't even think there are aftermarket skates for this mouse but yeah i don't think you need to because the mouse skates for this are really good like whatever these are i want you know i want them for other mice so that saves you some money as well and then yeah the hot swappable feature like yeah it saves you money you don't need to buy soldering equipment or it saves you time if ever you don't need to solder desolder um uh, what else? Or you don't have to have it serviced, you know, let's say it starts double clicking. And the thing is, it even if you change the switches, let's say, you know, soldering is easy for you or money is no object for you. Like, it, it's not gonna, if you want to change the switch, it's not going to void your warranty. And if, whatever you say, no matter how fast you are in soldering, I think it's just really more, more convenient to just, you know, remove and put, remove and put, you know. So that's a really banger feature and it has Bluetooth mode as well, so... I don't know who uses it on Bluetooth mode, but yeah. So I think for the uh, it has a good coating. It's not slippery. Everything. It's a good mouse. I really think it's a banger mouse for the price and everything. I'm just really the features and all of that. I'm just I'm surprised why it's not talked about that much. But yeah. But the thing is, I think the only thing that's holding it back is the shape. The shape is pretty awkward in my opinion. Uh, it's it's. Obviously, it's an ergo-shaped mouse, and I think it's it's medium to small. It caters more to medium to small-handed users. Um, I have 19 by 10 cm hands, so a bit on the bigger side, like 
medium bordering on the big so yeah they're not gorilla hands but you know it's kind of there like medium bordering the big and i think it's already too small for me and the thing is um small ergo mice are generally awkward to hold like if an if, if an ergo mouse is doesn't fit your hand well if it's too big or too small it's just going to be awkward and yeah if my hands were smaller or this was a bit bigger i think it's gonna fit better uh i'll have a better time i guess or an easier time adjusting to the shape i did end up adjusting to it because like i said i really dig the mouse um like i kept it twice or three times and i just kept on getting it again because i just really like it I, I like how it looks i like how it feels it sounds like i'm shilling the product because they said i'm not <laughs> like i i'm just really surprised as well uh i really just like the mouse everything about it except the shape the shape is just awkward so again um it's an ergo shape that has uh, a considerable hump compared to other ergo shapes like you know the the ec2 the death adder the model the model d's and the minuses um for those shapes right like uh, i don't have one side by side anymore like uh but i'm 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 talking from memory like those shapes they they don't fill in your palm that much in a claw mouse type of way right Usually the ergo shapes, the death adders, the EC2s, blah, blah, blah. It's more like, it's more geared to like, not that much uh, back hump. It's more like, you know, relaxed palm that you can go like that. But this, uh, this you can claw grip this easily. Especially if you like the aggressive claw and you have smaller hands, you know, like 18 or 17 cm and below. It's really good. Like it's like, if you want a claw grip ergo, if you want like a pincer or a tilt grip claw, it's really good for that. Um, so yeah, it has a bit of a back hump, so you, you get palm contact like that. It, it's a bit raised here, but it's not too aggressive. Like my main problem with this is this part. Uh, it's just too damn low. It's too low that I usually relax. I usually knuckle claw or relax claw, and I I like putting my ring finger on this part of the mouth, like. Uh, for example, here with the same two, I like putting it here or here. The Fantech XD, XD3 V2, this U Pro Super Light. I really just like putting it here in the side. But the thing is, with this, it's too low. So, people that would like to put their fingers on this side of the mouse, you know, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> That's why, that's why I put the grip tape. I didn't put the grip tape to add extra grip to it. Because the grip, uh, the grippiness is good. It's fine. My main problem with it is the reason I added the grip tape is so that I'll have some extra, maybe a couple of millimeters, you know, extra space so that I can rest my fingers better or easily here without the right mouse button, this part of the right mouse button cutting into my this part of my ring finger whenever I click it because whenever I click it it just keeps going like that like here it just keeps biting it so that's like a weird flaw like it's really just too low and I think it can isolates a, a potent you know a good majority not good majority but a good percentage uh, of you know, uh, of users because I'm sure a lot of users like uh, that like to relax claw or palm grip or fingertip that put their fingers on this part and they're gonna find it annoying if you like to curl it here if you like to curl your ring and pinky fingers it's fine you're, you're not really gonna run into that problem especially if you're aggressive claw and you have again smaller hands than me 18 cm and below maybe then but yeah it's just really awkward and i think another problem is that it there's no body it's not like uh like for example here right where the with the g pro super light i can easily put it here and not think about the about the rmb cutting into my skin because you know there's a body there uh, like over here there's a body protecting it so i can easily put it there and even with the sim 2 this doesn't have a body protecting it that 
but it's still a bit you know it doesn't have like a prominent separation compared to here right but it has a bit like if you can see it the the rmb is a bit you know just a teeny tiny bit more inward compared to the compared to the body and even then because it's a bit high you know it's higher it's not go going to be that much of a problem it doesn't cut into your skin and the thing is this thing slopes down as well if you can see it right it goes like that it's not like other mouths that's just a bit straight uh, so that adds to the problem of it cutting to your skin and yeah the only remedy I can think of it's not even a solution is like add some grip tape just one layer I tried added adding two la two layers of grip tape it just made the grip it made it kind of worse for some reason and it made the grip feel weirder so yeah that's my only complaint about this mouse I'd give it like a nine point nine out of ten if you have big hands but if you got smaller hands it's an easy 10 out of 10 for me and yeah uh the only reason i gave it a 9 out of 10 for like big hands because it isolates or you know it kind of rules out a certain you know grippers but again if you if you like to curl your fingers or put it near the body rather than the front then it's not gonna be a problem i actually adjusted to it already that's why i keep this on my on my desk and i still use it i've adjusted to it and and i enjoy using it but yeah i wish again asus if ever you're you're listening and if you're willing to take you know some some i don't know my opinion some recommendations and i've seen other people complain about it as well so it's not just me you know raise this part a bit if you're gonna make a v2 version of this raise this part a bit you know maybe just a couple of millimeters three millimeters or you know uh yeah add like maybe a couple of millimeters or or you know keep the what do you call this just make this part solid right you know like make a proper demarcation and i think it it would be fine you know just raise it in maybe a couple of millimeters two millimeters and then make this solid you know don't make it cut our fingers yeah then it would be a really good solid mouse uh as well as if there was an ambi version of this i'd definitely buy or you know if you can send it up for review again be, really appreciate it but yeah i want a rog Keris ambi or like a v2 a rog Keris v2 that you know tackles that problem because it's a really good mouse it's a solid mouse the only thing that's really holding it back for me to say that it's my main endgame mouse is the shape. Actually, it's yeah, it's this part. But other than that, I really like it. To the point that I'm, I adjusted my, <laughs> my grip style and how I aim. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You know, if... Yeah. If you're gonna make... Please make an ambi version of this uh, ASUS and, you know... Uh, if you're gonna make an ambi version, I think it would be good for you to raise this part a bit, you know, by a few milli, raise this part a bit, and then put this down. Obviously, it's gonna be an ambi, right? Put this down a bit, and just just meet halfway, right? You don't have to put it super down. You don't have to put it super up, right? Whatever, whatever this height, and this height is just, you know, just straighten it up like that. You know, just meet halfway, and then put some solid sides, or. Uh, or you know they don't whatever remedy or solution you guys can find for it not to cut our fingers for people that like to put our fingers here right that's pretty much it uh oh yeah additionally I actually one of the reasons why i realized i like the shape is because of this it reminds me of a bigger orochi and um i've said countless times again in my other videos that i really like the orochi shape i just wish I wished it was bigger and this guy this this part the left half the yeah the left half of it reminds me of that if it's like a bigger orochi so yeah if you guys can make like an ambi version of this asus i would really like it like you know 
ambi and a little bit you know bigger just you know tiny bit bigger maybe like one or two mill millimeters bigger uh on in terms of length in here but the front the front is fine don't make it wider people don't like wide fronts people don't like wide fronts people like a big back big hump on the back but people don't like wide fronts okay don't make it wi any wider heck i think you should make it narrower a bit you know maybe one or two millimeters narrower and then you just add a bit more you know dimension or length going like that to the back raise this up a bit uh, make a more solid body here or whatever solution you can think of so that it doesn't cut this part of our finger because you know it's a really good mouse and by how this thing is it's kind of isolating a certain percentage of people that you know aim with a relaxed claw or whatever but that's pretty much it again it's an easy 9 out of 10 for me if it's a big if you're a big hand user and if you're a medium to small handed person easy 10 out of 10 for me and you know if you like to tilt grip aggressive claw curl your fingers again 10 out of 10 as well because this issue is not gonna bother you so yeah it's a really good mouse I really don't know why it's not talked about that much but it's a banger mouse oh and here's like a here's a weird take if you're desperate you're desperate for for an outset AX wireless I think this is the closest to it like I, I was like thinking yesterday like while like this and the outset AX are probably the only two ergos that I've tried that that you can easily claw that have a back hump that have a good back hump and a relatively high actually I don't know like it, the good back hump so if you're desperate like it's I'm not saying it's an exact one is to one I don't even think it's 90% like around 70% similar with an outset AX so yeah if you're desperate or if you like the outset AX but you want to it's still not perfect and you want to try something different but kind of similar to it i think this is uh <laughs> i think this is a sim similar mouse to it in a way you know again 70 percent it's just a bit 70 percent this just the closest i can think of it's still far off okay it's still a bit far off but that's just my weird take maybe you if you you know if you're desperate you just want wireless and it's kind of similar to the outset AX, like 60%, 70% similar. Yeah, maybe this sh try this out. Um, yeah, so yeah, big thanks again to Asus ROG Philippines for sending this out for review. Even though I'm a small reviewer, like I have like 100 subs only. Yeah, and again, thanks for the support, guys. I never really thought I would get like 100 plus subs. I was like, oh, 20, like 10 subs, 20 subs, wow. And then now I have like 115, I think, as of making this video. So again, thanks for the support, guys, and hope you... Uh, I'm just a bit busy right now, but I got a lot of, you know, I have like six or seven videos, videos in mind. Yeah but more on that soon i don't want to make any you know promises i can't make anyways or promises i can't fulfill anyways like comment subscribe thank you for all your support peace